Hello. Today we're going to be continuing with our story of Esther. We're now in chapter 3. In chapter 1, you'll remember that Queen Z uh, Vashti refused to go between King Xerxes to show off her beauty, and because of that, she was no longer queen. In chapter 2 of Esther, we found out that the king actually chose a Jewish girl named Hadassah, who went by the Persian name Esther as his new queen, not knowing that she was a Jewish girl. And that was something we sort of kept in um, quiet at the time because of the fact that they had originally been slaves in the kingdom. Um, and her cousin Mordecai was watching out for her and had uncovered a plot against the king. So today's story, we start off with the fact that there was somebody else in our story that we need to talk about whose name is Haman. Now I'll tell you before we even get started, he's the bad guy in the story. Haman thought a lot of himself. In fact, there's a phrase that says, all that in a bag of chips. That was pretty much how he thought of himself. He had worked his way up to be almost second in command to the king. And when he would walk around the town, he would think that everyone needed to bow down to him. And people were afraid of him. And most of them did bow down, except a man by the name of Mordecai. We've talked about Mordecai before. Mordecai said, you're not king. You're not God. I'm not bowing down to you. And so because of that, I guess the easiest way to say is that Haman hated him. He hated him so much he just wanted to destroy him. And not just Mordecai, but he wanted to destroy all of Mordecai's people. He had found out that Mordecai was Jewish and decided that, you know what? I'm not just going to get rid of Mordecai. I'm going to get rid of them all. So he went before the king and said, King, I have found this group of people who do not think the way we think, who do not worship the way we worship. And because of that, I will pay lots and lots of money out of my own account to get rid of all these people. And the king said, no, if you feel so strongly about that, I will make a law of the, P of the Medes and the Persians to get rid of it. And as we remember, when it was a law of the Mede and the Persians, once it was made into law, it couldn't be undone. But the king went ahead and said, I have a decree that on this day, all Jewish people can be destroyed. Dun, 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 dun. And that's where we're going to leave our story for right now, is to figure out what's going to happen with all the Jewish people if everybody can gang up against them. But as we know, sometimes even the hardest times, we have to remember that God has a plan. God always has a plan. So, um, as you've been going through the story, you made a puppet of King Xerxes and Queen Esther. Today, I'm going to have you make a, a, a puppet of Haman. Now, Haman was known for wearing a triangular hat. So, when you stick that on, you might want to have a little glue dot there to help hold it on his head. But he was known for wearing a hat that was in the shape of a triangle. And because he was second in command, I gave you some sparkly stuff. And I also gave you a mustache because he's the bad guy. Now, not everybody with a mustache is a bad guy. But that will help us remember that this guy is not a good guy. Now, the snack I gave you also is to help you remember is that there are some triangular shaped trip chips. Because, as I mentioned... His hat was in the shape of a triangle. And I also gave you chips because remember I said he thought he was all that in a bag of chips. So you can sort of remember that not a good guy, not a good pe person to be. And as we said, God has a plan. And sometimes he even uses the bad guys to make amazing things happen. So we'll continue on with our story next week.